George Springer. First pitch of the at bat. Yeah. And here's a fastball called First for strike one. one Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. He's had to be sitting out over that outer half of the plate for him to take those first two pitches right there. Finds himself 0-2. I'll be surprised if the pitcher doesn't go right back to that spot. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Nope. And he misses there one and two. Easy take there as the off speed pitch misses well inside. Two two here it is. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. Standing in Jose Altuve. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now the pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Two and oh now. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Two balls and a strike to Jose Altuve. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking heater. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Now at the plate, Jordan Alvarez. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Count one and oh. Come on, that was a strike. I got a ball, one strike. One and one, here it comes. Aye. Hey, love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. In the dirt here. But it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Altuve, base runner at first with one out. And yeah, that's a fair ball, line to the right side. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. That and four. The third baseman, number two, Alex. Bregman. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Counts even one and one to Alex Bregman. Runners are at second and third with one down. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Ooh, I'm shocked he got away with that one, boys curveball right down the middle of the plate and for him to take that pitch looking he had to be sitting on something else but he should have pulled the trigger so it was a swinging strike three Alex Bregman is the second out of the opening frame looking to wiggle out of this here it is Michael Brantley is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one here's the 1 0 strike taken as the curveball drops into the bottom part of the zone One one pitch is a curveball that misses ball two. Here's the two one. Change up called a strike and he comes back even at two and two. Now time asked for and granted by the home plate umpire. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Fouled away. Now a check swing, but he does manage to hold up in time. Ball three. A great job of holding up right there. Little two out lightning might ensue by one check swing holding up. And there's ball four as this one gets away a bit. 
Wow, the throw pulls him off the bag. So the bases are loaded here, two men gone, and the former number one overall pick in American League Rookie of the Year, Carlos Correa, bats next. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Ready with the 1-0. Well, he's in a bit of hot water in this first inning, but if he can start throwing his slider effectively like that, he has a lot better chance of settling into this game. That one finds the target on the outer half. It's one and two. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. He set the 2 2. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. In now, Michael Brasso. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The first baseman, Michael. Hang on. That time. Now a step off as they try to get on the same page. First pitch on its way. And it's fouled away. A ball and a strike. Back up the middle. And this will find its way into center field for a leadoff single. Batting second. The second At the plate, Brandon Lau. Sacrifice attempt here. And they'll put the tag on him going to first, but the sacrifice is successful. So striding forward now, Batting Nelson third. Cruz. The designated hitter, Nelson. Through. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. High in the air out to center field. Catch made out there in center field as the runner will tag from second. And he'll make it up to third on the fly ball as he's in there now with two away. Batting four. So a man at third here with two gone, and Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. First offering on its way. Line drive to center field. Springer is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Second inning set to go, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Kyle Tucker. The white fielder, number 30. Kyle Tucker. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Tucker is a guy that can really pick him up and put him down, if you will. He's a plus runner and really uses speed to his advantage in multiple ways on the field. Yeah, and it works for him. It works for him in a lot of ways, like you said, Matty. Hits the ball on the ground, he has the potential to beat it out. I can't tell you what this does for an infield or an outfield defense to be put on their toes and have to make plays against this guy. Wow, I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. Two balls and two strikes now. The 2-2. Two -two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Yuli Gurriel, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. Good swing just a little early, and he'll see another payoff pitch. The three two one more time checked his swing there and did he go no he did not says the third base umpire so it's ball four so here's Yuli Gurriel number 10 
Boone again. First pitch of the at bat. Yeah. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here. 0 and 1. Nobody out, runner on first. A ball and a strike to count to the Astros' first baseman. Two balls and a strike. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. We got full count. Now a move over to first, and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Runner goes for second. Hit out towards second. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. Batting on the catcher. Martin. At the plate now, Martin Maldonado. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Too tight with that one. Three and oh. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. Three and one the count now. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or you're still looking for the double play ball? Pretty good spot to be in as a pitcher right now. You can go for the punch out or try to induce the ground ball to get a double play. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Martin Maldonado becomes the first out of the inning. He's set now the pitch. And that's down into left center for a base hit. And the run will score as the Astros are off to the early 1-0 lead. Now batting. The second base. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Fouled off. High in the air out to center field. Kiermeyer's got a read on it. And he makes the play, but this should extend their lead as the runner tags from third. And it's a sack fly and an RBI. It's now a 2-0 game. Striding forward now is the DH, Jordan Alvarez. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. First pitch coming. Here it is. Well, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that, this game could get away from him. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two balls. Hey, after the double at his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Ball three. Change up taken for ball three, well below the zone. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. And now in advance of a big three and two pitch, time is called at the plate as he'll press the reset button. Now the three and two pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the right fielder. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up outfielder Hunter Renfro. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Here's the first pitch to him. Couldn't resist on that one, and he's behind nothing and one. I'm going to need to see a better game plan out of the hitter right here. That ball was at his eyes. 
big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. Valdez has found success in his career at limiting base hits. He usually turns in outings where his hits per nine numbers are really respectable, and obviously that goes a long way as a starting pitcher. Matty V, there's a couple of things that really hurt you when you're a starting pitcher. Walks and giving up many base hits per nine innings. This guy keeps the ball in play, doesn't give up a lot of hits, doesn't walk very many batters, and when you do that, it's a good recipe for success, and it's worked for him so far in his career. Grounder down the line at third. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. And the throw is there to record the first out. So the base is empty here with one away. And that means that Nick Ahmed will be the next to bat. First pitch of the at bat. Nope. Off the plate and low here, oh, ball one. Right. Oh, Perhaps a little low there. It's 2 0. Oh. Bases are empty, one man out. Grounded back up the middle. There is Altuve. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Stepping up to the plate, Mike Zanino. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Two out, nobody on. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. And they'll try to tempt That's him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0-2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because nope. this pitcher might throw him another one. The count now at two and two. Two and two. And here's a curveball that's laid off that time. It's full three and two. Boy, went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0 and 2, started nipping at the corners, and next thing you know, this count stands at three and two. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory, and that ends the inning. New inning set to get underway, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Alex Bregman. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Down the third baseline, there is Ahmed. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Stepping in, Michael Brantley. He drew a walk his first time up. From the stretch. And that misses for ball one. One out, nobody on. 2 0 to Brantley. They obviously circled him before the game that they were not going to let him beat them. Walked him his first time up, and now they're nibbling again. And this one's over at the knees, 2 and 1. And he popped him up. And this will land foul. Bases are empty, one man out. Now time called at the plate as he'll step out and try and start it again. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Inside with the fastball, and he works the base on ball. So a runner at first with one out now. And ambling over to the batter's box is Carlos Correa. From the belt, kicks and deals. Aye. 
Runners on first with one down. And he swings and pops it foul behind the plate. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Striding in once again, Kyle Tucker. Kyle Tucker. He's set. Here it comes. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. Lifted the other way to left center. Meadows moving back. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. Bottom of the third now, and that means Kevin Kiermeyer will hit next. The center fielder, Kevin. Kiermeier. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Into right field, that's a base hit. Not your stop. Willie. Standing in now, Willie Adamas. As he'll swing and hit this one hard, but foul off to the left and out of play. Here's the 0 1. Sets the target low here and it misses 1 and 1. He broke out the slide step there, Danny. Yeah, he's clearly thinking about the steal right here. Didn't happen, but the cat mouse game continues on. Springer has a read on it. And that's the first out of the inning. Now to the plate, Michael Brasso. Okay. Second at bat here. He the reached via a single to lead off the home first. Not an easy thing to do when you're in a leadoff spot, but that was a good piece of hitting in his first at bat. An opposite field base hit, which leads me to believe that this guy's going to cover both sides of the plate. And this one's in the dirt. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to one and one. Runner at first here, one man out. High fly ball out to straightaway center. There to play it is Springer, and that's out number two. So coming to the plate, Brandon Lau. He did his job and laid down the successful sack bunt in his first appearance. And not easy to do in today's game. High velocity, exploding breaking stuff. He executed that sack bunt perfectly. And that's through for a hit. Altuve fields it cleanly. The bat, the designated hitter, Nelson. Here's Nelson Cruz now. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Runners at the corners, two men out. This one's hit deep out to left center field. Back goes Springer at the track, the wall. And that one is gone! To the plate now, Austin Meadows. As a good changeup will get him to commit too early, and it's strike one. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Three runs already home here. And right into the shift, Guriel brings it in. The tag, and he is out. All set for the start of the inning, and here comes the first baseman, Yuli Guriel. Number 10. Now here's the pitch. Guriel. Inside, ball one. Two and oh. Here he comes on two and oh. Strike called, two and one. You know, Matty, I'll never understand this. You work so hard throughout the course of the season and course of this game to get in 1-0, 2-0, 3-1 counts. Guarantee yourself a fastball 80 to 90% of the time, and he takes it. Just can't understand the methodology there. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. Now batter, the catcher, Martin 
Maldonado. Chaz Rowe takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. Number 52. Chaz Rowe. Into the box now, Martin Maldonado, as he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Rowe was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. And now we'll take a moment here at home plate as he asks for time. Here's the 0-2. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. The George Springer the next to hit. It was an RBI single for him in his last plate appearance. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Right-hander against right-hander as this is a ball 1-0. When you've got a guy that throws a good two-seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. 2-0 count, the pitch. A swing and a miss, strike one. One strike. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Meadows will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. So it's a runner at first with two gone, and that'll bring in Jose Altuve. He's set and the pitch. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. I'm sure the boys are going to blow him up in the clubhouse for that ugly swing right here. But he has a chance to regroup. Take a deep breath. Take a step out of the box. Nope. And know you got a few to play with. One and one the count now. Has a look. Now the pitch. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Wow, that pitch wasn't even close, and he almost chased it. If I'm the pitcher, I'm going to expand the zone even more on the next one turned on down the line a dive but he can't knock it down it's through for a base hit the batter number 44 designated hitter Jordan Alvarez stepping in now Jordan Alvarez as the first pitch misses to him it's ball one he's one for two in this one A 2 0 count to the Astros DH. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Down nope. low, and the plot thickens here. 3 and 0. Not a good spot to be in right now. A pitcher's fallen behind an account with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. And he won't even have to take the bat off its moorings. A four pitch walk here. The third baseman. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Trying to hang a zero, here's the pitch. Hey, when a pitcher's put in a tough spot, he's usually going to go to what got him here, and that's this guy's slider. Expect to see that more often. Ready with the 0 and 1. Grounded down the third baseline, but this will get foul for strike two. And obviously a big spot here with the bases loaded, so he'll step out to rethink things. A ball and two strikes now. Classic strikeout pitch right there on 0-2. It's the one we know he loves going to, but great recognition to lay off in that spot. Throw over to the bag, and he has to dive, but he's back in easily. We're in the fourth. Three to two is our score. Still a ball and two strikes.
the set and the one two and he comes back to get him so a great job pitching out of it with the bases loaded up next for the Rays Hunter Renfro leading up for the Rays the right fielder Hunter Renfro First pitch coming, here it is. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Nope, outside. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Going back is the right fielder. You can kiss it goodbye. Into the box, Nick Ahmed. The third baseman, Nick. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Tucker has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. Ah, it's flagged down deep in the hole. Now better. Here now is Mike Zanino. Mike. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a liner. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Up next for Tampa Bay. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Swing and a miss, and he's in control, 0-2. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. And it's a ball and two strikes to Kiermaier now. A swing and a miss for out number two, and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Now batting. Stepping in, Willie Adamas. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Pops this one up, just beyond the infield on the right side. And Altuve will put the squeeze on this one, and that ends the inning. All ready to go in the top of the fifth, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Michael Brantley. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Swing and a miss on a ball inside, 0-1. Think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out, one away. Digging in to try it again, Carlos Correa. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And now pitch on the way. Popped up. Rousseau is over and he tucks it away for the second out. So two are gone for the Astros in the fifth. And in to hit next will be the outfielder Kyle Tucker. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. There's a strike at the knees. 0 and 1. 4 2 our score here as we play inning number 5. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Right side. Defense aligned perfectly. Fielded cleanly. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. go. Michael Brasso. Rain. He'll start things out in the home half of inning number five. First offering on its way. Down on the shins and missed with it. Ball one. Oh, 
hard on the ground towards short. Reined in. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Digging in now, Brandon Lau. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And they'll try and get him out in front to start the at-bat, but this misses off the plate away. It's ball one. Fastball, and that thing got up there at 95 miles an hour, a ball and a strike. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Seared down the first baseline. A dive, and oh, he can't hang on. And he is out on the tag. And that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz. One for two in the ball game thus far. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. The wind up and the 0-1. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Fastball taken inside for a ball. Two and one now. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there. And it's three and one now. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even got himself into a good hitter's count now. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Now about a 58 foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. The 1-1 one, one home. Hard hit ball to second. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now that right fielder, Hunter Renfro. Bluff back to second as he'll just hold on to it. In now, Hunter Renfro. In the dirt here. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. 0 oh 1, here it comes. Four runs, seven hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Into right field, that's a base hit. And a good throw will wind up holding that runner at third, so the bases become loaded now with two gone. Nick Amen. Chris Davinsky answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam, but needs just one out to get out of it. Nate Lowe will be called on as a pinch hitter here in a big, big spot. He'll have the bases loaded with two out in the inning. Account. Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate. And he falls behind 0-2. 0-2 on, here it is. In the dirt and blocked behind the plate. Good work there to prevent any advance. It's 1-2. And 
And he well, lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go 3-2 and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right now. Bases are loaded here, two down. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. And now in advance of a big three and two pitch, time is called at the plate as he'll press the reset button. And that nope. misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. So here's Mike Zanino, one of the bigger spots in the ball game so far. Base is juiced now with two away. G-Man Choi will come on now as the pinch hitter. Number 26. G-Man Choi. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. Two out. Bases loaded. And he fouls this one off. Now time is barked out by the home plate umpire. A pause. And the 0-2. Pulled the string on him. Strike three swinging. And they get the force at home. Whatever works as the side is retired. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And digging into bat next, the Cuban import Yuli Guriel. From the stretch. Ball, that's inside. That's by him for strike one. Ball, one strike. Guriel behind a ball and two strikes. Two strikes. Man, this guy's been locked in all game long. I don't know where that ugly swing just came from. Hit down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Here's the pitch. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. Here he comes again, one, two. Grounder down the line at third. Foul. And now before the 1 2, time is called at home plate. Now here it comes. In tight with the slider, 2 and 2. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a 1 2 count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. And he'll finally just wear him down oh, as this one good. swung on and missed for the, the first captain. out. Martin Maldonado. Josh Reddick will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one Thank gone you. in the inning. Your attention, please. Pitch hitting for Houston. Number 22, Josh Reddick. And that swung on and missed for strike one. 5 2 is our score here in inning number six. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. 
Now he'll step out at the plate and reassess things here. A pause and the 0-2. Still no balls and two strikes. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. And that'll take care of the pinch hitter here for route number two. Here's George Springer. He's working on a one for three thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. A ball and a strike to Houston's leadoff batter. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. One ball, two strikes, count. Down the third baseline, but this is foul. And he won't go after the cut fastball, two and two. Two runs, five hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. And a full count to George Springer. It's three and two. What we're seeing here is a really smart at bat. They got to be thinking the man on the mound is getting a little short on gas. So a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that means Kevin Kiermeyer will hit next. The center fielder, Kevin Kiermeyer. Here's the first pitch to him. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Tucker looks up. You can kiss it goodbye. Now At the plate, the Willie Adamas. Willie Adamas. As, oh goodness, not ready for that slider at all. Let's strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider and that's out number one. Digging in once again, Michael Brasso. He's got a hit in three. Joey Wendell will get a shot here as a pinch hitter. Number 18, Joey Wendell. Blake Taylor, a six foot two inch left hander, jogs in to take over on the hill. Swung on and missed for the first strike. One out, nobody on. Now that's popped up. Taylor is under it. And that's the second out of the inning. So striding in, Brandon Lau. He singled earlier, making him one for two to this point. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ball match outside. The 1 0 is taken for ball two. Oh, no. 
squaring 2 0, and he pulls it back for strike one. Gutsy pitch right there. 2 0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. Fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Time is out. And now he'll step off as they look for a strikeout pitch. Here's the 2 2. Driven deep at the wall. It is gone. Standing in now, Nelson Cruz. As he'll follow one into the dirt and come up empty for the first strike. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. You know, I'm not sure he didn't throw that pitch out of the zone on purpose. They've been swinging at pretty much everything he throws, so why not give it a shot? He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Boy, he just threw that fastball by him. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline in that. You get a count in your favor and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Bullet back up the middle. Springer will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Anthony Banda is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 53, Anthony. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Jose Altuve. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. One and oh, the count. Here's the pitch. A ball and a strike. One and one. And it's one and two. One and two. I can feel the breeze up here from that one. Now here's the pitch. Hit on the ground toward the left. And that's through into left. So a leadoff single here to start the seventh. The bat, number 24. The hitter, Jordan Alvarez. Into the box now, Jordan Alvarez. As now the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. And it's fouled away. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. Wait. The 1-1. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. And he lays off again, ball three. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a 3-1 count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone, or do you just pitch around him? And he misses ball four. Number two, Alex Redmond. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fouled off. Ready with the 0-1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1-1. One one. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Now time granted here at the plate as he'll step out of the box. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. In the dirt and now let's see. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two.
from the stretch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Meadows has it, and there's one away. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. Here's Michael Brantley. A couple of walks for him thus far. First delivery to him on the way. And he fouls this one off. First and second now, one man out. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. The way he's been able to command his fastball, those first two pitches, don't be shocked if he goes back in there again or goes up under his chin or nasty slider down and away. He has opened up his full arsenal. At the plate, Carlos Correa. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. Ball one as the changeup misses well off the inside. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. What a great opportunity to come through right here. 2-0 count, runners on base. Find something middle of the plate and let it rip. 3-0 and oh now. And a changeup couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. Now batting, Kyle Tucker. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Miles Straw will be called on as a pinch hitter here in a big, big spot. He'll have the bases loaded with two out in the inning. Your attention, please. Pinch hitting for Houston. Number three. Oh, and an ugly swing there. It's 0-1. He's looking to deliver here with the bases loaded and two out in the inning. The 0-1. Now a ball hit in the air, and this looks like it'll get him out of it. Renfro is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. So here's the cleanup hitter, Austin Meadows. He singled his last time up. The left fielder, Austin Meadows. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Well, that's off the plate. The 1 0. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. to the plate now Hunter Renfro now look out as he's got to hit the deck here it's ball one he's two for three and looking for more here fastball and ooh that ran in and drilled him digging in Nate Lowe number 35 Nate Lowe here's the first pitch to him ball one a runner at first with no outs here Hit down the line at first. Guriel picks it up. There's one to Guriel, and they get them both. Striding in, Michael Perez. He's newly entered into the ballgame, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. He's set. Here it comes. 
Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. Here it comes on nothing and two. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. You find yourself down 0-2 in these situations. It's tough to check your swing right there. That was a nice job. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2-2. Two and two. Now here it comes. Thank you. When a pitcher's close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at-bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Q shot here out towards short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Yuli Guriel. So far, two for three in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A swing and a ground ball to third. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Now here it comes. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Into the corner and slicing foul. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, one down. Now at the plate, Garrett Stubbs. Garrett Stubbs. Here's the first pitch to him. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. Throw in time at first for route number two. So the lineup flips over and digging in, George Springer. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Ball one. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Well, that's a tough call for Blue right there. Either way you call it, somebody doesn't like it. But hey, that's the life of an umpire. The 1-1. One, one. Slow little grounder left side. He's got it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. He's set and the pitch. And, boy, a high strike call there. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really Number stayed one. staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that really? pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Stepping in now, Willie Adamas. A one pitch on its way. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He pulls into third safely. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. The third baseman. Joey Wendell digs in now. Fouled away. Runner at third here. Nobody out. Lifted the other way to left center. On the move is Springer. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And he will get in to score, and it's a run batted in on the sacrifice fly. 
Number Standing eight. in, Brandon Lau. He's coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. Yeah, in his last at bat, he hit a changeup out for a home run. So it'll be interesting this A.B. to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. And there are two away now. Into the box, Nelson Day. Cruz. He That's lined out in his last trip, Delta. so looking for better fortunes Ooh. here. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Perfect. Oh, and look out as this runs in and gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. And boy, they are howling now over in that first base you. dugout. They think oh, that was intentional, and I've got to say, Hello. I think I do too. And now you see the home plate umpire coming out, and the message has been sent. He's going to warn both benches. And that's the right thing to do by any umpire, Matt. Warn both sides and put them on notice that they're not going to put up with anything going forward in this game. It does put some added pressure on the pitchers to be accurate when they're pitching inside because even a mistake could lead to an ejection now, but that's just the way it has to be. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Austin Meadows. Yeah, Matt, that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot, but listen, a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers, they call that a wall scraper in his last A.B., but listen, it counts as a home run nonetheless. Oh, and he had him guessing there, and it's a ball and a strike. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at 3-1, and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. And this will bang up against the wall. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. The right field. Brad Peacock comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. In now, Hunter Renfro. As he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. Barely able to make contact, down 0-2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. All set to start the ninth in this one. And set to go is the second baseman, Jose Altuve. Jose Altuve. Here's the first pitch to him. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. And this will get all the way to the wall now. And this throw gets away from him. Up next to the Astros, the designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. At the plate, Jordan Alvarez. And this is knocked down on the mound. No chance to recover, and let's hope he's okay out there. Now that the third base. Oliver Drake now, comes on now in an Drake. awfully difficult Your situation as there are two on now, here with nobody out. Number 47, Oliver. So now to the Drake. plate, Alex Bregman. And it's fouled away. Drake was born in Massachusetts. He throws a splitter, a four-seam fastball, and a cutter. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. I don't blame the batter for pulling the trigger right there. Those fastballs light up your eyes, and you can occasionally do damage with them, but he wasn't able to catch up with that one. Fouled off. The next 0-2. One ball, two strikes to count. Whoa, that's down. Hey, expect a challenge right here. Does not want to run the count full. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. We got a full count. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0-2. 
to work the count back to three and two, and he's seen a lot of pitches too. Now the payoff pitch home. Now both runners are breaking, but any thoughts of a throw will be academic here. It's ball four, and the bases are suddenly loaded now with still nobody out. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Right fielder is on the run, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. And a surprising decision there as he holds on at third base. Ready for another shot now, Carlos Correa. It was a walk in his last trip. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Bases are loaded here, one man out. And it's quickly 0-2. And, and now we'll step off the rubber here and just look him back to third. And now time granted here as he'll step out to rethink things down 0-2. As a look, now the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Kiermaier on the run. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. Now he's safe at third as a run will score on the play as well. Now batting. Digging in, Double Miles three. Straw flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. And with his speed, he's one of those rare guys who you'd actually like to see keep the ball on the ground. You can't beat out a fly ball in this game. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Now, what's left of this crowd this afternoon gets to their feet. There goes Bregman off a of first. Pitch is high, the throw. And no throw, in fact, as he'll just hang on to it. Last strike now for Houston. Lifted down the line in left. But this one lands in the bullpen area, a foul ball. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And this should do it. Low is there. Makes the catch, and the ball game is over. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. 10-3 at the end of this contest. The Rays led this game the from the third inning on and never wavered.